Hi, this is Tai Yin with Gaslight Media. In this episode, we're going to show you how to customize your Amazon store with Drupal. In this demonstration, we'll need the latest version of Drupal, which is Drupal 7. You can get that at drupal.org. We'll also need the views module. The first thing you want to do is create a new content type. Go under structure, and then content types, and then add content type. Give it a name. and go to Save and Add Fields. From here, you want to add a field for the image. Go under Add New Field, type in the name of the field. We'll call this one Product Image. Under Field Type, change that to Image, and hit Save. Then click Save Field Settings, and scroll down and hit Save Settings to finalize. After that, you want to add a field for the link. Go under Add New Field, give it a label of Link, and then under Field Type, change that to Link, and scroll down and hit Save. Then click on Save Field Settings, and scroll down and hit Save Settings. And lastly, we'll need a field for the price. Go under Add New Field, and type in Price for the label. Under Field Type, let's use Float, and then scroll down and hit Save. Then click on Save Field Settings, and then scroll down to the bottom and hit Save Settings. From here, you can load up some sample products. Go under Content, and then Add Content, and then let's add a new Amazon product. Next, you want to grab a couple of images that you can use for your store. So go back to Amazon and click on any one of the thumbnails to load up the bigger version. Right click on the image, then click on Save Image As. This will save it to your desktop so you can grab it later. Then go back to your Drupal site and then under Image, click on Choose File, and then find the image from your computer. Click on Open and then Upload. Then go back to your Amazon page and copy and paste the address in the address bar. Paste that into the URL field, and lastly, copy and paste the price. Then scroll down to the bottom and hit Save. Continue adding products until you're satisfied with your store. After that, we'll need a catalog view to display all these products. To do that, we need to create a new view. Go under Structure, and then Views, and add a new view. Let's give this view the name of Catalog, and let's use a table display. Scroll down to the bottom and hit Continue and Edit. On this page, let's add some new fields for the products that we want to show. By default, it comes with the title, so let's add one for the price. Then click on Apply, and then Apply again. If you scroll down, you can see a preview of what your table looks like. If you're satisfied with this, click on Save, and then Preview Your Page. Click on the View Page button. After this, you can use CSS to style it however you like. In this episode, we showed you how to customize your Amazon store using Drupal. I hope you found this useful. Again, this is Tai Yin with Gaslight Media. Thanks for watching.